We are happy to try and assist the Senate inquiry as best we can. We believe that we've provided the appropriate level so far. We've given, as I say, information that clearly refutes any knowledge that we have regarding BP. The inquiry by the US Senate is into BP oil deals with the last British government. We were neither party to nor privy to any of those discussions. We've made that clear. We'll be happy to provide clarification or refute any points that may come up, but we really can't provide any further assistance because we just don't know. It's not a matter of being scared, it's a matter of recognising that we can't provide any assistance to the United States Senate's inquiry because we weren't party to or privy to any discussions between BP and the last British government. With regard to the decision on compassionate release, that's a decision for the Scottish government, for the laws of Scotland. I'm accountable to the Parliament of Scotland and I've appeared before the Scottish Parliament's Justice Committee. We made a decision on the relevant information following the 1993 statute and the prison rules. It's a decision that I stand by. It was the right decision for the right reasons. It's not an exact science. I do not know when he is going to die. Neither does any specialist medical person. If he had remained in a Scottish prison cell, he would have had a life expectancy of less than three months. It's self-evidently the case that he has lived beyond that. But what is undeniable and what is irrefutable and what remains quite clear and indeed unchallenged is that he is terminally ill with prostate cancer and he's going to die soon.